50 bees is the max amount of bees a player can have, that is, by buying an additional 25 slots. 300 bees would be the max amount of bees a server can have, since the player limit is 6. So, how did I manage to find out how to get a thousand bees? Bee Swarm Simulator offers a variety of bees, 45 to be exact, with each of those having their own unique sets of abilities. If we look close to a specific bee, we can see an ability that can help us out with getting a thousand bees. And you guess it, or not, but it was indeed Spicy Bee. You see, Spicy Bee has a special ability called Inferno, which basically spawns 6 planes but also 2 additional fire bees temporarily. So what this means in simple terms, 1 Spicy Bee equals 3 bees. This is very simple math, so I am assuming that some people already know that by only doing this, you won't get a thousand bees in a server. And you would be right. But who said I was done here? So a player can have 50 permanent bees. Let's say for some reason you decide to get 50 spice bees. Well, if you did that, you'd have a slight chance to have 150 bees. Because, you know, 50 times 3 is 150. Even though it would be like for a split second, who cares? 150 bees is still 150 bees. But that is still not a thousand bees. Obviously, Mr. Genius. But hypothetically, let's say you had 5 dumb friends that also got 50 spice bees. Well, if all of your spice bees would simultaneously would poop out an Inferno ability token, then there would be 900 bees in the server. At this point, the lag would be crazy, but this is still not a thousand bees, and obviously, I never clickbait. Never. Ever. So, for this part, this is currently not possible. But it would be in Beastmas, which is like after like how many months? Four? Maybe? I don't know. By completing Beastmas, you would unlock a new special ability, and sometimes those special abilities would give you a few temporary bees. There are like 40 ones, so I'll give you a quick explanation of what these do. Honey Day Candles. You'd unlock this by completing Riley Bee's Beastmas quest. By using the candles, it would grant you three temporary bees. The bees you will get would be either Fire Bee, Demon Bee, and the rarest Spicy Bee. A player would have a small chance to get 3 spice bees, and from our very simple formula, 1 spice bee equals 3 bees, that means 9 extra bees per player, so a whopping 54 extra bees for your server. That brings our total up to 954 bees. Gummy Siege You don't lock this by completing Gummy Bear's Beastman Squares. This would grant you a temporary 3 common bees per player, which means another 18 bees for a server, which brings us up to 972 bees. Onet's Lit Art You'd unlock this by completing Onet's Beastmas quest. Like the others, this would also grant you a temporary 3 bees. One of them being a bumblebee, and the other one being a baby bee, and the last one being randomly chosen from a list of bees. And unfortunately, Spice Bee is not one of the bees in that list. But that adds another 18 bees, so that brings us up to 990 bees. Last but not least, Honey Bee's Honey Reef. You'd unlock this by completing the torturous beastmas quest of Honey Bee. Unlike the other others, this would only give you one bee per player, which brings our total up to 996. So. Originally, I was thinking about saying that it's only 4 bees, so it wouldn't really matter. But I quickly realized that not every bee would have to be owned by a player. And yeah, this means a wild wish bee and wild mini bees come as well. And hey, it's still not clickbait. Only one wild wish bee can spawn in a server, so that brings us up to 997. But there can be a lot of wild mini bees. More than free, definitely, since every player can summon one, which brings us up to a thousand. Yeah, um, technically, it could be more if I research how many wild one bees would, could be in one server, but I just really just don't care. I hit the 1000 mark, so I can end the video right now.